Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Publisher. In this module, I want to have a look at page numbers, how you can do page numbers and how page numbers work if you want to print on both sides. So first of all, let's do it with a blank document. So I'm just going to open a blank document. Now, there's no page numbers at the moment, but if I go to insert page numbers, I'll just put them at the bottom, like so, page one. And then if I want to insert a page, insert a blank page, duplicate, they're all blank at the moment. So it just comes up with page two, which is how, you, how you'd expect it to be. Now, if I right click on this, this page, I can uh, do certain, certain things in there. But I've got this option at the bottom, which says view to page spread. Now, when I insert a page, that then becomes two pages. So I've got page two and three. And then if I insert a page again, it's just repeating that process. I've got page four and five. Now what I now need to do is insert a page that's just going to be one page and after the right page, so it comes at the bottom. So these two will be a pair and then these sit in the middle. So this is where you've got your cover page and then your information page and then there's nothing on the back of this and then another information page nothing on the back of that and then that's the back page so everything just follows through like that which is straightforward and great now if i just um undo some of this so back to square one just one page if you want to change this numbering to letters for example what you can do is go back up to page number and then you've got this option format page numbers and in there you can select whichever style you want so ABC and then you click OK and then that changes to a letter A and if I insert another page that'll go to letter B if I just insert a third page now if you want that to go back to um, a numbering system from that point onwards so instead of C you want it to be 1 you'll have to create what's called a section break so if I just right click on there and insert section it comes up with there and then this can now be used to go back for this section to the default which is one two three continue from previous section start this section with and then you're changing that to a one so that's gone to one and that should still be on b so that's on b that's on a and then this is going to be one and if you insert a page that'll be two so it's very similar to how you do it in microsoft word and with the section you can collapse them down like so and they just stack on top of each other like that so that's how you can do numbering yourself with section breaks now if i get myself a new document let's have a look at um, using one that i've just recently used now in this example, I've opened a newsletter and I've labeled it to make this easier to see. So I've put the word front on that page. And then on these two center pages, I've put back of the front page and back of the back page. And then the last one, it says back, back page. So we've only got four pages. So it's gonna number one, two, three in the middle, and then four. So when you go into print preview, if I go into file print, You've got some options that you need to be aware of so if i just come back onto the front page so you see this happens now because i've set this up to print on both sides so um, both sides of the paper are going to be printed and i've also set it up to be a side fold booklet like so just there and then that's just normally on print one side this is now going to print on both sides so when you go through this, I'm on the front page. So the first page, there's the front and there's the back page and the fold would go down the middle there. You'd have a fold, so the front and back. But on the other side of this page, I want to see page two and three. If I go next, you can see page two and three. So that's the back of the front page and that's the back of the back page. And that's how it works. When you select this to print on both sides, you get these options, front and back. Now, it is slightly confusing when you add extra pages to make sure you are looking at the right thing. So that's why I've put that there so I can work it out myself that there's going to be no mistake in how 
this is going to print off if I want to print it on double sided paper. So basically that was just a very short video uh, talking about page numbering in Microsoft Publisher. So hopefully you found that useful. Thank you for your time and I'll see you on the next one.